All right, y'all. The mother, father, creator. I had someone in the comment section ask me, what's up with the mother, father, creator? Well, lately that's been my favorite word for God. Uh, I, I just gotta say this. The word God comes from Godriel. He's one of the fallen angels. Um, anyways, there's so much deception in this fallen world. Uh, yeah, go look that one up, Godriel, one of the fallen angels. Apparently that's where we get the word God from. But ultimately when I say the word God, I'm talking about the God, the real God, the heavenly father, the divine mother, the creator of all, not just the creator of this fallen world, the creator of the whole thing, all the dimensions, everything. Brahman, Brahman, the heavenly father, the creator of all, not just this fallen world, not the God of this world, And this is, this is controversial. But the creator God in Genesis is Yahweh, Jehovah, Y-H-W-H. -H. And what I'm suggesting is that may not be the Heavenly Father. Because throughout the Old Testament, he's calling for baby sacrifices, animal sacrifices, just chaos and death. And then you got the New Testament with Jesus Christ talking about this all-loving Heavenly Father. Well, these sound like two different gods to me. And I don't think the Heavenly Father is the same God from the Old Testament. And that the Old Testament God might be Satan. But I'm still connecting the dots and figuring it out. Maybe the Heavenly Father was the serpent or the Divine Mother was the serpent. Telling us, hey, you need to realize this world is it's a fallen world. And the only way out is within, by awakening the Kundalini. That may be true, that may not be true. That's why I'm a scientist seeking truth and figuring out and connecting the, the dots and putting the puzzle pieces together. So the mother, according to Paramahansa Yogananda, author of Autobiography of a Yogi, he says that divine mother is the cosmic energy, the Prakriti. In the book of Proverbs, it talks a lot about the uh, wisdom. And wisdom is a name for Sophia. And Sophia is a name for Divine Mother. In the Gospel of Thomas, it talks about the, uh, the Divine Mother. In verse 105 and verse 106, it talks about the Heavenly Father and Divine Mother. And even though it says the, the Bible refers to the Holy Spirit as he. There's, there's, so much, there's so much deception in the Bible. And like, it just supports patriarchy. Come on, like really, like honestly, just really think about it. You and I have mom and, a mom and dad. Doesn't it just make sense that we have a heavenly father and a heavenly mother as well? Like as above, so below. And that one of the commandments is thou shalt honor thy mother and father. And we always just assume that was our biological mom and dad. Well, maybe it's not only our biological mom and dad here on earth, but it's also our spiritual mom and dad up in heaven. Maybe it's honor thy mother and father on earth and in heaven. Maybe. And so from all my studying, I feel, I feel completely comfortable with the idea of the Heavenly Father, the Holy Spirit as the Divine Mother, and the Son as Jesus Christ. Jesus being the Son of Man, the body, and Christ being the Christ consciousness, the Son of God. The Son of Man is the body, the Son of God is the consciousness. And Jesus the Christ, God incarnate, came here to, to awaken us. He came here to baptize us with the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, the cosmic energy, the Prakriti, the Rosh HaKodesh, to awaken us to the Christ, Krishna consciousness that's within us, which will eventually bring us to the cosmic consciousness of the Heavenly Father, Brahman. So, Mother, Father, Creator, Divine Mother, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Mother, Heavenly Father, Creator God of all, not the Creator God of this world, the Creator God who created everything.
I'm just connecting dots, y'all. I'm not saying this is the truth. I'm always open to being proven wrong. And all I know is that not many people, I'm just, there's a lot of deception going around, all right? And, and I, I, I for a living, I collect puzzle pieces and I put together the, I, try, I do my best to put the puzzle together. And so, and from what I can tell, John 8, 32, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Jesus Christ says, I am the way, the life, the truth. None get to the Father, but by through me. He will awaken us to that Christ consciousness, which will eventually bring us to the cosmic consciousness of the Father. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you, Matthew 6, 33. So I do my best to make that number my, my number one priority in life. And I do that through the four types of yoga. The Bhagavad Gita talks about the four types of yoga. There's bhakti yoga, jnana yoga, karma yoga, and raja yoga. Bhakti yoga is loving devotion. It is singing the names of God, praising God. It is chanting the names of God. It is the, it is the path of opening our heart to to and, 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 and the divine mother is that unconditional love. You know how much your mom loves you, your physical mom? And that like you could be in jail for life for murder or something, but I, I bet your mom would still love you. That's the divine mother channeling through your own blood mother to show that she loves you. Kind of lost track where I was going with that one, y'all. figuring it out. I don't claim to know the truth. I have some very radical ideas. I'm a conspiracy factist, not a theorist. Most of these theories are, have proven to be true. <laughs> and so I know there's a lot of deception. I know there's a lot of deception inside the Bible. I know there's a lot of truth inside the Bible and it takes discernment using our intuitive abilities to sense what is right and what is wrong. A lot of confusion. We live in a fallen world. We're living in Babylon right now. Babylon is Babel. It's confusion. We, most people are in a, in a physical, mental, spiritual state of confusion. They, they don't realize that their body is the temple of God. They don't realize that their body is the church of God. They don't realize that the whole purpose of this game is to, to find the kingdom of heaven within. As far as I can tell, because Jesus is telling us, number one, seek the kingdom of God. That's within you. And I'm like, all right, this guy seems pretty spot on. I'm going to take his advice. I've been to so many churches. The only one that I have ever been to where everyone like consistently meditates together every single day are the churches of Paramahansa Yogananda. That seems to be the only real church that is honoring the teachings of Jesus Christ by seeking the kingdom of heaven within you. All these other churches, there's such a dark cloud of confusion over them. It's because you're not even following the Savior's teachings, advice of number one. Number one, seek the kingdom of God within you. It's like very rarely do I meet a Christian that actually does that. It's weird. It's weird. Like, yo, if you're a Christian, you think you would be doing the number one teaching he told us to do. And, and, and that's the best way to honor the commandments. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, mind, soul, and strength. And so let's connect that. Let's honor the Lord with all thy heart. That's the path of bhakti yoga. With your mind. Though that's the path of gana yoga. Gana yoga is the path of wisdom. That's the gnosis path. That's the path of like just studying, watching the YouTube videos, studying the scriptures, doing the philosophy. Philos means love. Safi means wisdom. Philosophy. Philos, love. Safi, Sophia, wisdom. Philosophy means the love of wisdom, the love of Sophia. So love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, mind, soul. Well, let's jump to strength. I would say the strength is the karma yoga. The karma yoga is service to God. It's helping our brothers and sisters in the community. 
it's helping our brothers and sisters whether whether it's it's the spark of god that's in the whether in the sea creatures the land creatures the the flying air creatures honoring that honoring the plants and being stewards of this land honoring our brothers and sisters and seeing the spark of creation within them so thou shalt love the lord thy god with all thy heart mind soul and strength well with the soul i would say that's raja yoga that's the royal path and that's the that's the path of the scientific system of yoga meditation getting on that straight and narrow from muladhara to ajna chakra from the coccyx all the way up to the medulla oblongata from the bottom of the spine to the top of the spine entering the bridal chamber through kachari mudra honoring the temple keeping the temple clean inside and out by not eating meat by staying hydrated by doing enemas and colonics by doing juicing and water fasting or any type just just honoring the temple keeping it clean on the inside and on the outside it's a beautiful experience y'all and ultimately I, I i ultimately like doing what feels great and it's like yeah sex can feel great getting drunk can feel great Playing video games can feel great. Overindulging in food can be great. Smoking cigarettes, smoking weed, smoking crack. Yeah, it can be great. Meth can be great. Now I never smoked meth or crack, but yeah. What I'm trying to say is, yeah, all these things can be great, but there is pain attached to all those things. There is pain, a lot of pain, a lot of addiction behind those things. Sex, overindulgence in pornography, meeting up with strangers for sex. And so they teach in yoga that there's, 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 there's the, the gunas, the three gunas. There's the tamas, the rajas, and the sattvic. And the tamas is like, it's like a whirlpool. It's like out here on the ocean and it's a whirlpool. And that boat is just gonna go into that whirlpool. Like we're out on a boat and we just get sucked into that whirlpool. That's the, that's the tamas. And that's like your pornography, your alcohol, uh, harming people like physically harming people like it's like the worst of the worst habits that's Thomas it's a whirlpool like it, it, it's poison in the beginning and poison in the end then you got Rajas and Rajas is a bit more chill it's like a boat out in the ocean but it's super wavy so you go so the, so you go up the wave and down the wave so it's up 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 and then down crash up, 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 down, crash. Up, 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 down, crash. It's a very wavy, rocky ocean. And so, yeah, there's highs. And there, there's a big drop. There's a big low. And then there's more highs. And then a big drop. That's the path of Rajas. And then there's the Sattvic path. The Sattvic path is the path of truth. And it's super calm and chill. The water is like glass smooth sailing and in our life it's not just a hundred percent sattvic a hundred percent rajas a hundred percent tamas it's a combination of these things we might be five percent tamas 25 percent rajas and 70 percent sattvic and it's the habits, it's the habits, it's the, it's the daily habits that are dominating us. And we could have heavenly habits that are building us up and helping us grow and become the best version of ourselves. Or we can have hellish habits that are just destroying us and pulling us down to death. It's life or death, y'all. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the life, the truth. Now get to the mother, father, creator, but by through me. He is the way, he is the Tao, he is the life, he is not death. He is the truth. 
and that truth will make us free. And he will awaken us to that truth. What is that truth? The truth is that the kingdom of heaven is within you. And that the, 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 the way to access it, my best guess, is through the Christ consciousness that is within us. And through that Christ consciousness awakening to that state, he will help awaken us to the cosmic consciousness of the Father with the aid of the cosmic energy of the Divine Mother. Anyways, I don't know. Ultimately, like I said, I don't know. The only thing I know is that I don't know. And I'm doing my best to connect these dots, yo. <laughs> I think I watched a little bit too much of that Kanye West documentary. <laughs> uh. All right, y'all. Thank you for listening. Peace be with you. Jesus Christ loves y'all. <laughs>